Hi all, Darren Hansborough from DA Components. I'm going to do a, a video talking about uh, the full nozzle range and the different colours in nozzles, uh, the fan jets, the fully cone nozzles, and the stainless stain nozzles in this video. So, the main question that I always get asked Does the applicators fit a gardener's pole? So, the first of all you would need is the brush adapter which changes the square end to a threaded end so you can thread the applicator to it however if you got the the new version of the angle adapter with the uh, bit of pipe at the top this needs extending because you've made that longer so i'm going to put a 25 degree fan jet nozzle on the uh, brush adapter just thread it on push down into the push fit connector and the fan jet the applicator is actually threaded on so i'm going to switch the backpack on just to demonstrate the flow rate of the 25 degree fan jet nozzle this is fantastic for pvc cleaning uh, gutter cleaning and uh, applying the chemo chemical to a conserved your roof etc so that's a fan jet nozzle, as you can see, it just comes out of the nozzle like a flat spray, like a fan jet, and that's a 25 degree, this is the original one that we released, and then we got asked to, uh, do, you, do we do a, a wider spray pattern, mainly for when you do like a big uh, cladding job, so you can uh, speed the process up applying the chemical. So I'm going to switch the backpack off. And I'm going to change it over to a 65 degree fan jet nozzle. Unclip the push fit connector, thread the applicator off. This time I've got an orange one. So what we have now is uh, the orange applicator, which come in. Uh, three different colors at the moment uh, orange red and black the original so now in this day applicator we have the 65 degree fan jet nozzle uh, this is a like a wider spray, spray pattern still a flat uh, flat jet as well and uh, very good for applying the chemical to the pvc and cladding uh, conserve your rovers when you're using traffic fill remover or virusol for pvc cleaning so i'm just going to demonstrate the, the the actual spray pattern when I turn the backpack on. As you can see, it's a wider spray pattern now. And you're getting a wider coverage instead of the 25 for, for your application. So I'm just going to turn the backpack off. So that's the 65 degree nozzle. So I'm just going to uh, take the applicator off by pushing the push fit in just pull the uh, pipe out and just thread it out obviously you don't need to buy all these applicators because you can just change the nozzles so I'm going to change a, a fan jet out to a 25 degree fan jet and I've just got a 14 mil, 14 mil ring spanner just thread it off Unthread the 65, put that aside. This is a 25 degree fan jet nozzle. You can see I've already put the PDFE tape on. You just thread it in, get it going. Get your 14 mil ring spire, just thread it on. What I tend to find as well is I always like to put the, the fan like straight ahead, but it's entirely for you where you want to position it. You just got to bear in mind when you switch it on, it could be that way around, but I always try and find the fan jets like that. So the next demonstration we're going to talk about is the fully cone nozzles. So now we've got uh, the de-applicator fully cone nozzle, the 6.5 nozzle. So when it comes out of the nozzle, it spins in the rotation and you're getting bigger droplets on the surface. And when it's bigger droplets on the surface, uh, it helps with wind distribution when you're using harsher chemicals as well. 
Uh, obviously, the demonstration I'm going to do now, I've only got a washing up liquid in the uh, backpack because I, there's some plants next to there and I don't want to uh, kill the plants. And what you will find, I've actually fitted the, the little black push fit bar which fits inside the push fit connector like so. So it just holds it a little bit better. What you will find, it'll, they are in the kit as well, so you can still use them if you prefer. And it just pushes in and it just slots in quite firmly. So I'm just going to switch it on to show you the spray pack. As you can see now, the chemical, sorry, not chemical, it's just wash, washing up liquid. It's totally different spray pattern because it's coming out the nozzle in a rotation and you're getting bigger droplets of chemical on the surface. And that's the 6.5 nozzle. It works fantastic off any, uh, any backpack in the industry or you can use it on your van system and etc and that's the difference between a fan jet nozzle and a 6.5 fully cone nozzle i'm just going to turn the backpack off so now we're going to demonstrate a number 10 fully cone nozzle running off a backpack and you'll see the difference just going to unclip the push fit connector pull the barb out however I am just using wash up liquid. If this was by your side or harsher chemical, I'll have the correct PPE on. I don't need, you know. I'm just gonna thread this off. For the demonstration, I've already got an applicator with a number 10 nozzle in, which is uh, a 2.8 uh, orifice coming out. So the hole's a lot bigger. And you, get, you can get a bigger uh, pattern, spray pattern, because this is 70 degree. The 6.5 is 50 degree, but once it's working on a backpack, you'll see the difference, and I'll explain why. Now what you'll see, it doesn't look as if it's working to its fully, fully maximum, the maximum of the nozzle itself. The reason being is because the backpack is only 3.8 litres per minute. To get this nozzle to work, 100% you'll need more litres per minute coming at the actual end of the nozzle so you're getting a bit more oomph because the hole at the orifice at the uh, in the nozzle is a lot wider than the 6.5 nozzle. This is fantastic for the sodium hypochloride or the soft washing chemicals that you prefer. So I'm just going to switch the backpack off. So what you see now is the difference between the 6.5 nozzle and the number 10 nozzle what i've got rigged up here now is more liters per minute going through the nozzle and you can see the actual difference in the floor because the gardener's backpack was just too low the, the liters per minute on the pump was only 3.2 or 3.8 where now we're actually running about 10.7 liters per minute roughly so i just wanted to demonstrate the difference between the number 10 nozzle uh, on the DA applicator. So we have the, the soft wash nozzles, uh, they come in plastic, all chemical resistant, but we also have the stainless steel version available. And I get asked the difference, I get asked the question, what's the difference between the stainless steel one and the plastic ones? Well, there's not much in it really as a rule. It's mainly for the guys who we have the plastic ones and they're actually rubbing the nozzle right at the edge or of the surface and it just wears down a slight at the edges. So I think the stainless steel ones, it's the longevity of it as well. Uh, <coughs> but personally, I just think they're all, they're rough the same, but the stainless steel one just helps you uh, scraping the edges of the nozzles so it doesn't wear down as, as much. Uh, and that's about it really, I would think, for the day applicators and uh, if there's anybody want any new videos or anything that you want me to try and review or anything just let me hit me down in the comments below and uh, we'll take it on board thanks a lot that rounds from day components